Hello everyone, this is Shelby with Shelby Creations. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. You know, it is so hard to realize that October is over. We're into November. You know, it seems once the kids go back to school, if you still have kids in school, um, it's, you've got, you know, you've got Labor Day, then you've got Halloween, then you've got Thanksgiving, then Christmas, then New Year's. It seems like one holiday right after another. So, you know, it it's kind of hard to to actually find time during this these busy holiday seasons to actually sit, you know, and watch videos. So, if you're with me today, thank you very much for joining. You know, it's the first of the month. We do our little monthly journal with um, the horoscopes and monthly flowers and stuff like that. Yes, I pre-pulled. <laughs> we only got December left. Oh, and then this one will be finished. So this is a, I think it's, this is a five, this is to hold five by seven um, photos. And I think I found this at Michael's. And it's got the really sturdy clasps to it. And it holds everything for this. Because those of you that have been with me through this, you know that I was late getting it out a couple times because I put this away and then I couldn't find it. So we are all the way up to, there's October. We have November. And December and then our final year-end page to do. So here we are. Let me get my clip. <coughs> oh, and my ink, my dauber. Let's see what we've got in here. Because I've tried to pull a lot of this early on. So I tend to forget what all's in here. Oh, we got bling. We have bling. That's it. Make sure. Yep. That's it for November. So we have bling, topaz, which that may be, that's a gold, but we'll pretend it's topaz. November is chrysanthemums, Scorpio, and the bug is supposed to be a moth. And that's the closest thing I could find to a moth of what I had. Yeah, part of a chrysanthemum. Another different colored chrysanthemum. That can be our topaz. I found this in my stash. And then this here has a chrysanthemum down here. And I figured we, you know, we'd also use that. So, I pulled another sheet also to use as a background page. And get my ruler. Let's see, this, how much does that, that will fit almost the whole page. So, I think this month, I'm going to do a little overlap on it. Maybe. I don't know, I like that swirl there. But it's in a place that it's not going to work for our Book today, so I'll save this for another one. Set that to the side. Now, what about height? Well, it's a little over, so I actually need to come down here. Now, when you're when you've only got a little bit here, what I do is I see where I want to go. I'm going to line it up there, and I'll line it up with my grid, and I'm going to push down on here really, really hard so that that paper does not move as you're tearing it, and then you've got your little strip. So, let's start inking, and I want to make sure on these that I have the orientation right because there is writing on it. It's very faint. But 
I don't know. I don't know if that's showing up very well, but there is writing there. <coughs> Excuse me for the cough. Now I do have allergies and I do have a cough that's going to stay with me for life because during my last surgery on my neck, they damaged my, um, the nerves in there. Because I have had a total thyroidectomy, which I don't, for those of you that don't know, they had to remove my whole thyroid because of thyroid cancer. And even though most thyroid cancers are curable, mine is not. Mine's that rare kind. But it is in remission and has been in remission for quite a few years. And I hope it stays there. See, that's a little bit too much. I'll tear that pot off. I may even come all the way down here and just come under November. Oops, I got a bit of the lettering. But anyway, I digress. I thought I had had a pro I was having a problem with my allergies um, or maybe a summer cold or something going on because I just could not shake, you know, the the post-nasal drip. It's like it would not go away. And finally, I got to where I could not stand the coughing anymore because the result was giving me massive headaches. So, long story short, I broke down and went to the urgent care clinic here in town. Because also, as most of you know, my doctors are not here. They're like three and a half hours away in Chapel Hill. And even though it says, Chap it don't, you know, it's only like a little under 200 miles, it takes that long to get there with all the traffic. Those of you that live in towns and cities, you know when you go to a big area, and it's called the... Tri-County area, or anyway, it's uh, it's Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. But anyway, I went to the urgent care, and come to find out, it's not allergies. I have a severe sinus infection, which you know I didn't realize. Well. I didn't notice the, the sinus pain or anything until the doctor decided she was going to examine my face and pressed on my sinus areas and I thought I was going to come out the chair. Yep. And on top of that, I have a severe ear infection. You know, of course, I just can't do something simple. So... She decided that I needed, well, she put me on antibiotics, she put me on a steroid, and a cough medicine that they had to compound, uh, one thing after another, but, and I started taking the medicine as soon as I got home, and I am so thankful I did, I feel so much better today, I really do. The cough is still there a little bit. Yeah, well, it's going to be there for a little while, let's face it. But it's not as bad as it has been. So, you know, even if you think, oh, well, it's just a cold or something, I found out the hard way, go get checked. Because this could have, you know, this could have ended up as something serious. I've had pneumonia, I've had bronchitis you know, in my past. So, and neither one of those do I want again. And it could have very well have ended up as pneumonia. So, 
with bronchitis on top of it. So please, if you're not feeling good, go get checked. So I did all my inking. I trimmed all my pieces. So now comes the joy of putting it all together. Now this is just a simple collage book. We're not doing anything fancy or, or whatever. And I wanna make sure the corn, all these stay on here. So I'm gonna pull out my double-sided sticky tape. Now usually I would just glue things down, but I noticed a lot of people asking in the groups on Facebook, how do you get your pages to stay down and not, you know, pull up at the corners? You know, or come off or especially where you don't have the glue and the way I combat that is with double-sided sticky tape and glue now if you go over your and you know end up on your tape instead of just on your paper don't worry it's not going to stick to it because if, if it did you won't be able to get off the roll so I'm just gonna go all the way around as close to the edge as possible. Now I found out if you take your tape and you stick it beginning of where you want it, and I hold my finger there, and then I'm going to put my thumb where I want it to end, and then just smooth it in between. Now holding it a little firm, you know, when you pull it out, you generally get really close to the edge. I'm not sure that's showing up. But you can see it there. So there's one. And while I'm at it, let's go ahead and do the second one. I know I usually have a lot of this done for you, but I've been asked to show the processes, my processes from start to finish. So I just don't like having long videos. Yeah, I think about 30 minutes is sufficient to get just about anything done. I mean, usually in 30 minutes, I can have a, I can have dinner cooked. Unless it's something that's gonna take a while to cook. Like my spaghetti sauce takes all day you know, chili, stuff like that, soups. Okay, I'm gonna stick him where he belongs and then come here with, and I'm gonna burnish that tape down because it may be, you know, that some have trouble with their tape sticking and the best way to make sure it's gonna stay there and stick is to burnish it. All right, now my pokey tool. I think I gotta get, I need to get another pokey tool. This one here, I have worn it all around there. It looks sad. All right, I wanna start, okay, with this one. I'm gonna take off, where is my trash bin? I'm going to need that. All right, see how it was under there? I'm just gonna press that back down. And then that comes up. And then the same with this side off. And then our final side. Now comes our glue. Ooh, that is a messy, messy top. And Nikki called me today. They, they got to dress up where he works for Halloween. Because they had, you know, just a little simple Halloween party for everybody. Before they all got off. He works at um, our convention center here. And because he was part of kitchen staff, he could not dress in costume. But, let's see, make sure I got that. Yeah, that's the right way. 
so he just did his face or his head and it was all different colors I see I can't even tear straight and one of the ladies there asked him what are you and he's got all these different colors on his faces and he tells her oh she says what are you dressed as she he says I'm a skittle come and taste the rainbow he said I thought she was going to keel over right there in the hallway she was laughing so hard which is good yeah that's what that's why he does it you know to, to bring a smile or laughter to somebody's face each day that is really something special So this week has been, oh, I forgot to tell you, at the doctor's office, the doctor decided I needed a shot of steroids before I left. If your doctor ever tells you you need that, please be very careful. She gave me the shot. I didn't feel anything when the nurse gave me the shot. About a minute later, Oh my God, the injection site. And it, it was almost like a place that big around all the way into my hip bone. Felt like it was on fire and it was painful. Oh, but yeah, that's what it does. I don't think I want that one there. Ooh, that would be pretty there. Yes, I like that one. So, so far in the month of October, I had the shot in my eyeball for macular degeneration. I have had a total of one, two, three, four, eight shots in my knees. And now the shot in my back hip. And I think out of all of them, the back hip was the worst. Oh my goodness. Are any of these stickers only way to find out. Where's my tape? I should have thought to look before I... No, that one's not. Alright, so that can get... Find out where I want these to go. We'll stagger them. I do like that. I know is a sticker. So, if we do these here... And then we've got Mr. Pumpkin. We'll put Mr. Pumpkin down here. Which, I have that one. I think I will. Let's move this over here. And we'll come up here with this one. We'll do these four here. So that I can come in here. I don't think I'm gonna use that this month. I do want Topaz though. Do Topaz there. I'm going to do November across there. So, let's start with those. Which one did was... I think this one is a sticker. I think. Yep. Okay, so we know that's a sticker, but I want this to go down first. Let's see, when you lay things out like this, you're auditioning them. You know, just like you would audition for a role in a play or on TV, you're auditioning your pieces as to where, what parts they're to play in your journal. Let's see, that's, that was a sticker, that's not a sticker, the other two down there, and I think they're okay. All right. Yeah, it's got to go this way. Oh, do, 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 do. oh, I still got that other sticker up there I wanted to use. So, we'll get to that. We'll get that one down eventually. What? 
all the way over here because I want to put this one here, I think. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to do that. Now, you can see the static clean with this one. So in order to, I just stick it onto my, um, where's my, okay. I just stick it onto my tweezers. That way I can put it down. Just like that. Now for this one. Okay. Our pumpkin. I'll frame that just and that so that hits over that corner. Now, topaz. Okay, so what are y'all's plans for Thanksgiving this year? Are you gonna stay home? Have all the family over? Are you gonna go off? Go visit family? Let me know what you have plans. I think we are going to lunch over at Nikki's parents because his dad likes doing a turkey and a ham on the grill every year. So we'll go over there. I think that's backwards, but that's where it's going to fit. We'll go over there for lunch. Now Christmas is a totally different, 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 different animal. We are hiding on Christmas. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. We're not having anybody over for Christmas dinner. And I think all we're going to do is, ah, it got on the glue. Sometimes glue strings can be your friend. Sometimes they can be a pain. This does not want to lay down. All right, there, got it. Boy, that was rough. And of course, it doesn't want to stay where I put it. So now I got a little smudge of glue everywhere. That's okay. Where am I? Ooh, I can do these right along the side. One, two, three, four. Let's see, so I need just a little line of glue. Now, let me see if these will come off easily. Nope, they're gonna give me a problem. And then I don't know if the sticky pad's coming with it. So, there goes one. Yeah, because the tweezers weren't helping with that. Here comes number two. Put that right under there. Come on, back down there. Don't move. You're not supposed to move. Am I the only one that talks to my supplies? Or is this a crafter thing? Do, other, do the rest of you do this? I think my son thinks I'm crazy when I'm in here working. And I talk to things. All right. This, I know it's big, but I want the glitter and glitz. I trim this really close to those because I don't know if you can see it, but there's like little hairs that are on the edge. And I'm trying to trim it really close to get those off. Because I just want the little dots. What's in between them is fine. Okay, that will do. Now this does have sticky on the back. But like most things, it usually doesn't hold for very long. 
so. Yeah, and then it's not even coming off on the thing. See how that pulled off? I'm gonna put that straight into the trash can. And then just simply come here with my glue right along the edges, maybe a little in there. Get some up here. Oh wow. Well. It's there on most of it. So we've got that. What else? I thought I had one. Ah, my butterflies. I found these little gem butterflies in my stash. And I thought these would be perfect. Yeah, that was sticky. Yep. Yeah. Oh, now it's stuck to my finger. All right, so this one, I'm going to put this one here on this one. And this one, we're going to put it right here on this leaf because I want it to pop. Although it's probably too much glue for this little teeny guy. But at least I know we'll have plenty of glue on it and it will hold. Move that around. There. And that's it. November is done. set this back over here and there is November what do y'all think let me know in the comments so just December left and then the year end page which we're going to do the same time as December when we do December we'll do the we'll complete the whole thing so I need to leave this open so it dries and I did not use this one so that one can go in there and now, I have been working on so many different things here lately, and I haven't cleaned up my desk. And it may be, I don't think I'm going to get it done today. We'll just leave it at that. And that, and I haven't felt like messing with it. So, y'all want to see a video of me cleaning up my desk again? Let me know in the comments. So, also, let me know what you think. And I know the, the camera is a little wonky. I'm trying to get it adjusting between being too low and too high. And it's what it is. It's like a, a reaching arm. I, I think I showed it in the video of the craft room tour. But it's I can't adjust the, the height through the main anymore it it's way it has to angle coming over and down so I'm still working on that so bear with me so because each one may be a different um, height to the video so if you like what I've shared with you today give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and catch me back here in the dragon den because I finished the altered book so, you're going to have to come back and watch that in the next video. So, until then, bye guys!